salty water and disappointment. And double. Yeah, for real. That may have been the most satisfying role-playing game experience I have had in a very, very long time. No offense to our successful one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. Zach. No, or I agree. To you or anybody, but damn. Yeah, I'm I'm glad that. Goddamn. Because when I first, especially as this a player, out, yeah, when, when I first concepted this game out, like this actual entire fucking adventure, I I made the temple like an actual fucking dungeon. I'm so glad I have later just decided to completely fuck that, not just because the original plans were destroyed in the fucking tornado, but also because it was a hell of a lot more satisfying to just be like, oh yeah, talk to a fucking basically god-tier earth spirit and let it just be like, all right, because you fucking assholes can't do this by yourself, I guess I'll do it for you, seeing as how you went through the, the trouble of summoning me. Really good that we were both wizards. Because if we had been trying to do that the regular way, we would just be dead now. Well, if you were trying to do it the regular way, I would have made fucking allowances for it. That's true. But either way, we got to use dwarven spell thief luck stolen rock magic and the Myrian lightning wands and runes to summon basically the demigod of being a rock dude. The demigod of being a rock biter. Encino Man. Yes, yes. <laughs> he summoned Encino Man and he was our friend. Except he was made of stone instead of just having a brain like a rock. Though I guess technically his brain was made of... It doesn't matter. Anyway, it was awesome. That was great work, Zach. Especially considering how many issues you had with communication. You just rolled with them and made sure that we got through the scene and that it ended up being awesome anyway and then we had a we got a motherfucking magma chamber battle. It's very, very rare you get a successful, fun magma chamber battle. And not to system monologue, but it kind of helps we weren't having to deal with hit points or spell slots. Oh yeah. Let yeah, us focus that's more on what our fucking advantage to fate is. Spell slots? What the fuck are spell slots? It doesn't take fucking forever. Exactly. You can focus more on what. We got to focus on what our characters were doing, how they were doing it, and what the fuck it was doing to them as people. And it was an actually important part of the fight instead of something we had to shoehorn in. Which made the fight so much fun, it was just like, I am filled with so much anger because I have one friend, one new friend who I think maybe doesn't even like me that much left in the world, fighting what might be a god of death. I am going to use every piece of horrible power I don't even understand that I have to do this. I am going to unleash a fucking tidal wave of magic I cannot control if it gives us one chance. Gives me one chance to save somebody one time. And that old dwarf got to do that. He also accidentally almost dropped us all into lava, but that's a risk you take. And I'm just really glad, I can't remember the last time you and I played characters that got along. It's been a lot of fun. Actually, I can't remember the last time we've both been players. Might be the thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a rare event. It's a rare event. Mm -hmm. And it's typically when I'm running, and I'm bad at running, let's be honest. It's more due to mm, completing no. experience. <laughs> this was great. You're this bad at running D20 systems. Yeah, yeah, D20, and sometimes it's and sometimes it's derivatives, because, well, honestly, sometimes it's because you're like me, and you get actually caught up in the rules, no matter how much fun you're actually trying to have. Other times, it's because you get too nervous. Tonight, though, you've went with it. Even in moments where you knew something was going wrong, you just course-corrected. At most, I could tell some mild annoyance in your voice, and went with it, and made it awesome. That's what running is at its best. You did something that... Mo like 80% of the time, these days, for the last year, I can't even do unless the stars are right and the great Lord Cthulhu has been shoving a tentacle into my brain in order to fill me with his thirsty love or whatever. This is terrible. Why am I saying this? <laughs> anyway, that was, that was amazing work. You just gotta find a way to be comfortable with what you're doing and make it actually work the way it does in your head. Doubt is the bane of creativity. Yep. It's one of the reasons why... Which is why Stephen 
King produces like 18 books a year and why George R. R. Martin, who has the same human concerns about being a creator that everyone else does, produces one book every five 15. years. <laughs> one of my favorite jokes I've ever heard is, ask a Game of Thrones fan what George R. R. Martin is doing right now. Their default response, not writing! If we get to find out this session, what's their response when we ride up to the door of that longhouse on a oh, black I unicorn? was actually kind of just waiting for the chatter to be over so we can... Uh, oh, shit. That. Okay, well, I thought we were done. Okay. We're not done. Revork, the the big... Uh, hob, or not hob, the big Tolgadi Goblin that you're pretty sure is um, basically half bugbear, is just staring completely slack-jawed at both of you. As you ride up to the longhouse on a, let's be frankly honest at this point, goddamned legendary mythical black fucking unicorn. Yo! What? That's what we said! It was amazing! We were in the magma chamber! We had to summon a greater elemental spirit of the earth! There were a lot of things that just happened! Was that what caused the eruption? No, that was us killing the super death priest warrior mage or whatever he was down there with his horrible anti-life maces! And then we rode out of it on a black unicorn through a magma tube as the magma chased us and became lava as it erupted from the top! It felt like being touched by the gods! Also, I fought a very deadly, deadly duel. With some sort of creature. I'm going to. Have you even taken a point of stress? No. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm the most badass fucking bitch in the world. I am going to hack up some chunks of bloody purple crystal now. I, however, am in a great deal of pain, and also whatever this gray scabrousness is on my arm is very painful. Yeah, nope, no, I'm it, good. It comes and goes. It, it well, it's still pretty painful. Like, the pain is not going away. It's not dulling like it should be. There is a literal black, horrible, massive scab there. Also, or this not black, gray. Also, this probably dead flesh might need to be removed. Is there a chirurgeon around or perhaps just a knife and something I can bite down on? I'm running pretty high on that, uh, on that adventurer's eye right now. I don't know what I can do. Oh, damn. Okay. I was not expecting that. Vork comes up to you, hands you a a knife. You know, bite down on this. Oh no, he's about to heal you. He's a cleric of Tansa. He just doesn't count for part of the megocracy or got anything. It, got it. <laughs> or matriarchy. The pain spikes, and you definitely need to bite down on the scabbard. Um, but then it fades, and uh, color, or a bunch of blood gushes up, and the gray scab sort of sloughs off, but then it, all of the blood clots, and now it's a regular fucking scab. And that appears to have winded the hell out of um, Ravoric. Whatever that was, do your best to not ever have to have that problem again. Believe me, I will take you upon that if at all possible. Thank you very much for expending your energies on me, sir. I'm gonna go sit down. Yes, of course. That's still an issue, but thank you for what you've done. Sorry, I got some crystals and blood on your... Let me wipe the crystals off. Keep it. A twang goes through the ley lines in the area, and they resume their normal flow. Oh, off the horse! Plunk, plunk, plunk. Even you <laughs> feel this to a degree, but mm. obviously not nearly as strongly as him. The Can ley lines have restored their flow. It's very exciting, but also horrifically overwhelming. <laughs> oh. I think part of this is my stomach, the rest of it seem to be chunks of black and purple rocks. I feel very grateful for the initial healing. Is, is there maybe anyone else who could help a little bit? Just just a little. I'll, I'll pay them back some somehow eventually. This is very painful. Ow! 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 I'm disabled! Ow! Ow! I'm glad there are no other dwarves here to see this. 
This would be very embarrassing. One of the... You lucked out again. One of the, um... The people from inside the longhouse comes out and places a, um, a bottle of sort of green spirit in front of you and say, this might straighten you out. So is it living up to your expectations? Uh, yeah. I'm sure it will get significantly more aggravating if Joe ever joins, though. Sorry, dude. Yeah. We have to agree. It, we, we will suffer. For a while. But it may All must still suffer. be fun. But we still do want you here, so... There's that, at least. Zach and I do. I'm neutral, but honestly, if you want to play and you have the time, I would welcome your presence. But I don't know your character yet, other than how Zach's currently played him, which has been as, as you. And you will understand why I am somewhat leery. And by you, I mean drunk you. And by drunk you, I mean... We all know what I mean, Joe. Please, just play the character differently from... From drunk you, from drunk you, with a giant, like two-gallon jug of wine you've just finished drinking in under an hour. Actually, play it differently than five hours later when all of that has worked its way into your system, and you're just a rolling ball of alcohol. Because you must. Actually, no. I know you don't remember that <laughs> night, but believe me, it was awful. And you and all unicorns everywhere should still be ashamed, just as I am, for many of my sins. And why is the fucking camera We're still recording this? This is evil. I've said terrible things. I've done <laughs> terrible things. I'm sorry, Joe. Your sock drawer will never be the same again. And, and the pickles, they didn't go missing. The jars, they were all open. They were all open. Turn the camera off, Dennis. Turn it off. No.